You've seen our mounts. Most of them should be pulling plows. You didn't all grow up with fancy noble horses on this boat. You ride whatever holds you. Why are you here with the scouts instead of fobbing around with the nobles anyway? My uncle died at the conclave. I'm a good rider, and, well, I thought I'd be more useful. Does it trouble you? I wish I could get rid of it! We have need of it yet. So you've mentioned. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed, provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Clearly you have something in mind. We do. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Anderan Atishan. You speak Elven. You just heard the entirety of it, I'm afraid. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Can't you simply ignore them? If only that were possible. Some are calling you, a Dalish elf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading? Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I don't mind it at all. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable sort. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. 
Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. You were saying something about... Colin? Hmm? I... yes. Haven has limited space for our soldiers to train. You dislike the Templars, sister? No. I know their purpose, but... You remember, I once ministered in a circle chantry. Yes. I assumed you were used to having Templars around, keeping... Blessed are the peacekeepers. The champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous. The lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then.
We will speak later. When will you be able to get us the crafting supplies we need? When they're ready. Piss off. Can I help you with something? If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have. But we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials. So I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site. Maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. Farewell. Make a go with you. Need something? I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while, but he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. In the book, you say that first Enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses. How? Why? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how. For the why, all I can say is he was desperate. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Uh, Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars, so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the raiders. She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Last I knew, Hawk's sister Bethany was doing something uh, wardeny near the Anderfell's border. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Need something? I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. There's no way Hawk really could have killed the Arishok. It would have started a war with the Kunari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Arishok didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, We will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Carry on. Good day. Or good as it could be with a sky ripped apart. What kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? The kind with nowhere else to go. Those blasted demons destroyed most of my goods. If I stay here, work some contacts, I can start rebuilding. Maybe, just maybe, help you folks out in the process. You must speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? Hope and fear in equal measure. 
No one really knows what it means when an Inquisition is called. Yet. I imagine it's no better for you. You've got my sympathies, for what it's worth. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table. I don't see why we need to build siege equipment. We're not laying siege to anything. That's an excellent point, Recruit. But if someone comes to lay siege to us, perhaps it will be best for us to have some means to fight back. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. fighting anyway, sir. I've heard it was mages, demons. No one really knows. That's an acre's truth. All you need to know is that we're holding this place again. some of your cloth for bandages. And how much is Mother Giselle willing to offer? Can you really put a price on the love of Andraste? Still got demons pouring out of the rifts. worried about the rift. I understand that.
used to delivering children and helping old men through the winter cough. Seeing these injuries, I was... Here, sir. With Segrit's compliments, sir. What's the catch this time? No catch, sir. Said he wanted to help the Inquisition. Plus, I think the herb were going to go off and nobody wanted to buy them. I think Segrit wanted people to like him. Well, good enough. 